first and most important component need for this project is Arduino Uno. You can see this is Arduino Uno. Here's the microcontroller, 80 Mega 328P. This Arduino operating voltage is 5 volt. And input recommendation voltage is 7 to 12 volt. You can see here 14 digital pin from 0 to 13 and including 6 pulse width modulation pin. You can see there is a wave sign in pin number 3, pin number 5, pin number 6, pin number 9, pin number 10, pin number 11. These 6 pins use as a pulse width modulation pin. Here are the 6 analog pin from A0 to A5. Here are the power pins. The first thing is pin is VC V input. The second and third these two pins is ground, then 5 volt, then 3.3 volt, then reset pin and the other pin. You can power up this Arduino by three way. This is for the USB B printer. This is the DC 5.5 mm jack, and we can also use V input pin and the ground pin. Here is the peer motion sensor, passive infrared motion sensor. Peer motion sensor allow you to sense motion. Almost always used to detect whether a human has moved in or out of the sensor range. They are small, less expensive, and easy to use. There are only three pins, you can see. To find out the pin name, you can remove these. Here you can see the pin. This one is VCC. The middle one is out output and this one ground. So don't make confuse. If you have any confusion, remove the cap and then make sure the pin. You can also adjust the delay time. And the sense range. Here I do see LCD screen or you can say liquid crystal display with I2C. Here the I2C. Actually, this I2C will save your Arduino pins because it uses only four pins from Arduino: the ground one, the VCC one, and usually serial data is connected to Arduino analog pin A4 and serial clock at Arduino analog pin 5. That's an A5. In this display, there are 16 columns and 2 rows to print your desired sentence or words. These are the other components we need. This is 170 type point solderless mini breadboard. In this breadboard, these 5 pins are shorted. Like these 5 pins, all the other 5 pins. Then we need a buzzer. This is 5 volt buzzer. This long leg is positive terminal and this short leg is negative terminal.
as an indicator as a red LED the long leg is positive and the short leg is negative to limiting the current we need a resistor this is 220 ohm resistor it will save the LED because if the current is high the LED might be damaged lastly we need some wires this is male to female this is male to male Okay, now let's make a breadboard circuit. So here is the breadboard circuit. I'll share this uh, breadboard circuit in the description box. You can check. Now I will make the code according to this circuit. Just for quick reference, the motion sensor output pin at digital 2, the buzzer at digital 4, and the red LED at digital 5. And here the display, the serial data is connected to A4 and serial block is connected to A5. And this is the black one is the ground, red one is the VCC. Same as for the motion sensor, the red one is VCC, the black one is ground. So here the prototype is done. I'll share this code, okay. but don't forget 